Hello and welcome to my F123 Mighting Crew mode here today for part 36 for the Chinese Grand Prix. It's been a few years since F1 was last in China. 2019 F1's 1000th race and this would be one race 1117. So to the grid then Alonso on pole alongside Lewis Hamilton. We qualified P3 alongside Carlos Sainz and it's George and Schumacher, Bottas and Albon. Piastri and Sonoda rounding out the top 10, Stroll and Gasly, Magnussen and Joe, Leclerc and Lando, Verstappen and Ocon, Sargent and Liam Lawson, and on the final row is Nick De Vries and Enzo Fittipaldi. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the first Chinese Grand Prix, this in what would be six years in this remote we're currently 2025. So our uh, one and only lap that in qualifying, our final run, we found a lot of time, purple sector one, past the best sector two, but it wasn't enough for pole position then. We're starting on the softs, going to the mediums, we need to bounce back after a very disappointing Australia, and it's lights out, and away we go, here in China, and we go to the inside then, Lewis Holder takes the lead from Fernando Alonso. We've stayed in P3, but we're going to go very late up the inside into turn 2 and take P2. Now Michael Schumacher is round the outside of Fernando Alonso, former World Championship rivals back in the day. But Alonso fends him off and George has got past Michael Schumacher as well there. Schumacher nearly getting up to third, but has dropped. And now this is... George and Alonso going wheel to wheel. Hamilton was starting to fly away. We didn't seem to have the pace of that of Hamilton today. But to the inside goes George Russell on Fernando Alonso. Alonso tries to hold it. And George's actually done the cut back. George on the round the outside at the final corner. That's not happening. But now to the outside he goes again. Does George Russell? The Mercedes look quick today because all the way around. The outside of turn one, those soft tyres seem to be working on the Mercedes compared to the mediums on the Aston Martin. But I think Alonso has held it around the outside as he they're still side by side from the hairpin. This is brilliant racing. It's down into the hairpin around the outside. George holds it. George is open to P3. Well, it got it done in the end. It took him. Uh, best part of half a lap to do that and that wouldn't be long before he's on the back of us because I've always struggled in China especially since it's been back on the calendar this corner leading onto the back straight I can never do it and that's why we're left vulnerable to George Russell heading down the back straight he has DRS begin trying to tuck back in his slipstream and go back to the outside and break late and slam the door shut at the hairpin, George has gone so deep off the track and now Schumacher is only not just got past Alonso he's now overtaking George and he's hoping to be free and this time we'll try not to take him out as here he comes to overtake us we'll let him through this time we shall not be trying to make contact that we didn't in Australia to be fair but there was much more contact Schumacher through into P3 we're down to P4 and you can see the pace that Schumacher has got he has flown away got his last win here in China there's now side by side there we are for nearly three wide we're on the outside George in the middle and Alonso up the inside we've gone so deep trying to go around the outside George really takes P4 Alonso has lost out with somehow I only lost one position and going way, way off the track. But it's dropped in for George and he's been chased after now. The seven time world champion. And into town one we go Alonso all over the back of us. It's down the inside Alonso goes as we run as we run wide. Around the outside. We go half the inside line we give Alonso a little nudge and now the Ferrari of science is having a go at him. But we made a, make, make a mistake, Alonso's through, and now so may be 
Carlo Sainz, but now Valtteri Bottas is seen a chance, but he can't get the job done there. This is lap 7 now, as Sainz has a big wobble and runs wide and off the track, and Bottas gets past him, and now gets past us in the background of Williams of Albon. Looks to have gained a couple of positions there, but Bottas is absolutely rinsed us there, and we're just dropping like a stone. We haven't got the pace of the Mercedes, haven't got the pace of our teammate, and we're just going backwards. And now look at this, behind, nearly four wide, they are briefly four wide. Heading down into the hairpin, Sainz on the inside of Alonso. The Alpine's trying to go around the outside of both of them. Has he got the job done? Pierre Gasly, round the outside of the hairpin on Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz. Fair play. What a move. And now Alonso and Sainz still side by side. Alonso trying to hold around the outside. Sainz has the inside line. Piastri is also getting involved with Yuki Tsunoda. He needs a result after his retirement in Australia. But Sainz is through. And now Piastri is going on Alonso. Alonso on these mediums is being absolutely mugged. Just like us. Now this is Albon on the back of us, the Williams got good straight line speed, Williams really not where they want to be in this grim maiden season so far. Down though into the hairpin, we've run so wide off the track, we've gone so deep and we've allowed the Williams through and up into P80 goes, and P6 rather. We're down to P7 and I feel like this is the same issue with the tyres that we've had in Bahrain and Saudi and especially last time out in Australia the softs just don't seem to be able to fire up on this car as now we run wide and slam the door firmly shut in Carlos Sainz's face Piastri now try to have a look and get the exit as now we head down but these soft tyres does not work on this car for some reason but down the inside we go we We've locked up there, we've nearly lost the back end. Sainz is in a chance, we're now side by side. Through the S section, neither of us giving up. This is unbelievable racing. Through the S section, we've tried to hold around the outside. Sainz takes the position off of us. Now Piastri's trying to go around on the outside. Into the corner though, we've dropped it, we've lost the back end, we've gone across the track. We've gone into the side of a Piastri and sent Piastri flying through the air and we're both out of the race that is a huge huge high speed crash and that's our race done it's a performance to be proud of from our chinese grand prix winners today and talk to me what do you think it was that sealed the win for them i feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own and that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So this is a replay then, you can see we've lost the back end, we've nearly dropped it about seven times and then we just lose the rear, go off the track, touch the grass, we spear across the track and into the side of Oscar Piastri. Piastri tries to get round our outside, couldn't do it, he sees a chance, nearly hits the back of us and then just has a uh, Lamborghini into the side of him and hits the marshal post there very very scary nearly sending him through the air and the Aston Martin front wing going miles up into the sky but dramatic race but it's a Mercedes 1-2 Hamilton and then George Schumacher though making sure it wasn't that 
Man of the Weekend for us, finishing P3. And then me and Piastri both DNFing along with the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. The championship now, then Lewis Hamilton now leads by two points over Josh Russell. Then it's nine points back to Fernando Alonso. We've dropped down to P4 and now 25 points off the top. It could be worse as long as that gap doesn't continue to get bigger, I'm happy. So in terms of the constructors, Mercedes still lead. We're still behind Aston Martin, but we have closed the gap with that podium for Schumacher and there's still three teams still yet to score then in Alfa Romeo, Haas and Alfa Tauri four races in but I hope you enjoyed this video very short one to get him wiped out early on or wiping myself out early on I should say I hope you enjoyed the video we go to Monaco next goodbye